Hey guys, Tofuru here, and welcome back to some more Danganronpa Goodbye Despair. And uh, where we last left off, we finished our first free time in the Gre uh, in the Grape Room, and we're still in the Funhouse. Nobody's dead yet, so that's a plus, I suppose, but let's see what happens next. Um, there should be time for me to move around more freely. Alright, um, let me check my map. See who we can talk to. Um, we should be able to chat it up with our good old friend Chiaki there. Um, he's in the indoor park on the strawberry floor. Uh, those two are in the strawberry lounge. Down here in the strawberry first floor is Fuyahiko. In the circle room is okay. Uh, all right, everyone's kind of spread out. I'm gonna take my chances and just chill out with Chiaki, see if she's up to talk right now. She might not be. Uh, yeah, figured. Okay, so she doesn't want to chat. So we're gonna make our way somewhere else. Um, I'm actually not sure who's still in the green room or the grape side. They might all be on the strawberry side. Yeah, I don't want to talk to you. Oh, uh, I forgot all about my pet. How's my pet doing? Oh, it died. Okay, then. Uh, <laughs> so it just... Okay, so you have a chance of it just dying. Uh, does it need food? I have no idea. Oh, well, for now, I guess I just wait. <laughs> um... Well, that's a bummer to have that happen, so let's go to the other side and be a little more positive, I suppose. Uh, there we go. Oh, wow, so I wait on it by myself. Uh, but it's a little bit faster now. So then they're obviously connected. The rooms don't rotate. It's just, like, next to each other. No, that makes no sense. That, that room has to exist. I mean, would you feel this rotating if it was, like, in one solid motion moving around? I don't know. <sighs> Alright, let's see who else we can chat with in our group. Okay, we're here. Hey, Sonia, what's up? Um... We must find a way to escape this place. What should I do? Should I invite Sonia to hang out? I mean, sure. Well? <laughs> Hajime, let us search for clues once again. I spent time today searching for clues with Sonia. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonia and I grew a little closer. Would you want to give her a present? Yeah, sure. I give him a present. What do you want to give her? Uh, coffee? Open the treasure box and surprise! <laughs> May I really have this? <laughs> Thank you very much. You are truly cl uh, kind. Well? Najme, there's something I would like to ask you today. Uh, what? Shush, lower your voice. We do not know who might be listening in. Now come closer. No need to worry. As Sonya said that, she walked up to me one step at a time. Wow, she smells nice. Hajime, do you happen to know a lot about the occult? Uh, not, not really. Then... What about cults? Uh, a little bit. Uh, not at all. That is... Phew, I see. You certainly are deceptive. I'm finished talking to you. Let us disperse for now. Hold on a sec. What, what in the world were you talking about? I am concerned. <laughs> you are hopeless. Since I've already sailed this far, I shall sink you into the ocean. That's not how you say that. Uh, I... Though I understand if it is forbidden interest for a princess, I am quite interested in Freemasonry. Of course, my interest is purely academic, and I have no intention of conspiring to overthrow the government. Well? But when I think about Freemasonry, uh, my chest begins to hurt. It sounds like she's in love. However... It seems that not many people understand this feeling of mine. And because of that, I feel quite lonely. Sometimes I feel like I just cry. Hmm... Sonia's hobbies are pretty intense. Please wait! However, expanding my knowledge like this is the duty of every member of the royal family. And that is why I'm interested in the occult, cults, and popular dramas. Uh, 
when she puts it like that, it sort of makes sense, but if that's the case, then why modern dramas? Hajime, please think about it. Do you not agree that dismissing a different set of values due to ignorance is foolish? How cruel. How many foolish wars have been fought on the basis of that ignorance? Do you have a minute? My country is certainly no exception. We still have many unique traditions then that other cultures would not truly understand. Unique traditions, huh? That reminds me, I think she mentioned one of them before. Uh, Mamongo, right? You mean Mamongo? Uh, no, you're appalling! How dare you say Mamongo so dirty! It's a dirty word? Unique traditions, huh? That reminds me she mentioned one. Makongo? You mean Makongo, right? However... Yes, but that is not the only one. Our country has another tradition in which you are not acknowledged as an adult until you consume a skong. A skong? I... However, I think my generation should be objecting to these traditions. Although it is nice to retain a purebred mankongos and skongs as a symbol of high status. Auctioning them to the highest bidder goes against the spirit of animal conservation. Wait, are there animals? Please listen. But we do not need to completely end this tradition. I shall simply find new uses for mankangos and skongs. They grow when they're scared and shrink when they're angered. I plan to harness the energy they release in this state. Using the knowledge of the past, we shall develop a new energy source from our old traditions. Hold on. Do strange animals like that really exist in your country? Perhaps. I understand it may be a difficult path. Well. However, I shall accomplish it by any means. Guiding my people along the right path is the duty of a ruler. Her people must believe she's a wonderful princess if she actually thinks of them like that. I believe that's true too, but... <sighs> In my eyes, Sonya and the Nova Selic Kingdom are just full of mysteries. I mean, we got a hope fragment. I guess it's a success. Is it nighttime now? Yeah, after somewhat bridging the cultural divide between us, I return to my room. There should be a time for me to move around more. Oh, there should be time. Okay, so I got another shot at free time. Um, who's on our map to chat with? I mean, I didn't know Sonya was super into the occult. It's kind of interesting to know. So she hasn't moved from the... So she's kind of stayed in the grape house. Everyone else has kind of ventured off in different areas. They're in their rooms. He's in there. Where did... Where's Chihika? Where's Chia Chiaki? Sorry, Chiaki. Where is... Where is she? She's not here. She's disappeared off the map. See, that's nerve-wracking. Uh, oh, great. Uh, I hope she's not dead. That would be just peachy. Um, I don't even know why someone would kill someone in this situation, unless they just couldn't take it anymore. Alright, well, we'll talk to you again, Sonia, because we need to improve our hope situation with you. Um, I'm starting to feel somewhat dizzy. Just as I thought, this wallpaper color is dreadful. What should I do? Should I invite her to hang out? Yes. Then let us take a little break. I spent time today talking to Sonya at the indoor park. I probably don't deserve it, but it looks like Sonya and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Yeah, sure. I'll give her something, I guess. I mean, she likes occult things. Uh, I don't know if I have those things. Secret books. Oh, boots. Another hope. Biggest phantom. Tips and tips too. A kiss note. Headphones. Uh, razor Ramon. Infrared thermometer. Flash suppressor. Who the hell would want a flash suppressor? Uh, Nitro Racer, Ghost Stone, no. Bojabo Dolls, are these are cult? Okay, no. 
Uh, Century of Potpourri, Seven Sword, Broken Warhead, Bar. On On is just a fashion magazine. Uh, actually, I wonder if she'd like this. Um, Angel's Fruit, Secret Swordwind, Summer Festival Tree, Used Carrot. Yeah, no, those aren't what we want. Uh, we probably want to give her... Let's, let's try. Sorry, but we can't give it to her like that. It's what we call in the industry a key item. Oh, okay. I guess I can't do that. You can take cinnamon tea. Wow. Oh, cool. I didn't think she'd like tea. And, well, I guess if she liked high quality coffee, she'd love tea. Are you giving me this? All right. What a wonderful item. I shall accept it without any reservations. <laughs> now then, what shall we discuss today? I see. I would like to discuss friendships, uh, friendship between men and women, as depicted in Light My Heart with Fire. Uh, uh, has something happened? How can you be so calm? We've been involved in this terrible situation for a long time now. So how can you have such an unchanging attitude? Do you think I'm a cold woman? Uh, no. You are right. It's fine, I understand. Because I see something that everyone else cannot. What is that? Which means? Destiny. Although I cannot allow killing under any circumstances, the lives of humans are shaped by destiny. Just because we make an effort to prevent danger, it does not mean we can defy destiny. Please listen! Besides, my life belongs to my country and its people. If I were to die, I would be no other re there would be no other reason than the sake of my country. <laughs> If I were to die, it would be for no other reason than the sake of my country and my people. If I die here, it would be meaningful to my country and my people. I... So I do not fear death. The moment I was born into the royal family, I was destined not to die a meaningless death. What she's saying is so foreign to me. I mean, it's pretty motivational. It's also kind of crazy to think about. They're the words of someone who lives in a world that is completely different from my own. Well, I guess that makes sense. You really are a princess. Yes. Yes, since the day I was born. Um. Also, this is not my first brush with death. Though the royal family has governed for many years, coup d'etats and terrorism did occur in our land. I too have been abducted twice by insurgents in the past. Abducted? However, if I showed my fear, it would fill my people with despair. That is why I had to wait in silence until rescue arrived. I actually think this situation is easier since I can honestly feel fear for a change. You're expected to cope without feeling fear. I know you're a princess and all, but that's still... Please wait. <sighs> when I'm in my country, I am princess before I am a person. That may be, but... Um... And because of that, I was truly looking forward to this visit. I thought when I came to Japan, I could be a regular girl. I... But in the end, no matter where I go, I'm nothing more... Uh, nothing but a princess. Right then, I noticed Sonya's hands were shaking. Of course she's afraid. There's no way she wouldn't be. She's just... She's just good at hiding it. But even so, you're still a regular girl to me. I mean, I'm not a citizen of your country, and I'm not even one of your vassal or vassals. So when it comes to myself and the others, you're just our classmate. You're a regular girl. You didn't need to try so hard. Well, dang, Hajime, you're you're throwing the moves on this chick. Uh, Hajime, <laughs> thank you. I still couldn't stop her hands from shaking, but I definitely feel like we understand each other better. That much is certain. All right, we got some more stuff. Uh, oof. So after talking for a while about things, and I parted ways with Sonya and returned to my room. Is it nighttime now? I, I really am starting to get confused. Yeah, like, uh, what time is it right now? Oh, it's already 10 p.m. Just as I thought. I can't get a sense of what time it is when there are no windows in Monoc or Monokuma's announcements. 
it's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Yeah, yeah, you should. I hope Chiaki's okay. I mean... You there? It's still a little early, but I should go back to my room. Okay, see, now I'm mildly concerned. Alright, well, I guess to bed for now. There's not much else I, I can do other than go to bed and wake up. Hopefully nothing bad happens. I'm trying to do my very best not to worry, but even I have my limits. I'm hungry. Uh oh! I heard that! What are you gonna do? Jeez, you're whining already! It's only your second day! So, jeez! If you do this, that, all I could say is jeez! Viva killing! You should just stop being stubborn, hurry up, and start killing already! What do you want? What? Why, why? You don't even have the energy to be mad, huh? News! Well, I have good news for you guys. You've all lost your drive since you guys got here, right? You have the drive of an old man in his 50s. <laughs> okay, so in order to get you guys, uh, get your energy back, I'm providing a special service with all my heart. So everyone, please gather at the Grape Tower tomorrow at 7 a.m. 7 in the morning? There's no alarm clock in this room. How do you expect us to wake up? <laughs> That's your responsibility, so figure it out. By the way, being late is strictly prohibited. Bye-bye! Okay, then. Bye-bye! All right, I guess. Uh... <sighs> I mean, considering that, there's really not much we can do, but serves with all your heart, huh? It's no use. My stomach feels so empty, and I can't stop thinking about food. If I don't want Akuma, there's no way he'll provide that for us. Damn it. So I passed out and tried to wake up at 7 a.m. I pulled the thin covers of my futon, desperately trying to ignore my hunger pangs, and went to sleep. Today, I interviewed random strangers on the street and asked them, What do you hate about Monokuma? Here are the results! He has a foul mouth and a terrible personality. He's a rude pig. He's still popular despite all that. He's a lazy ass that doesn't work hard at all, and yet he's more skilled and better than people who do. Not only did God give him both hands, God gave him everything. He always talks crap about others, but nobody talks crap about him. That's what he's willing to do to die. Uh, I fucked the last one up. That he's willing to die to protect the woman he loves. It's like movie titles or movie clips. And that he can't live without me. He's usually cold towards me, but he takes good care of me when I'm sick. He's always slapping me around when I... <laughs> oh, yeah, these don't. These don't sound like. <laughs> these don't sound like Monokuma. They sound like, uh, like random quotes he just grabs out of the air and, like, they're things he's just applying to himself. Like, I hate that his job changes every time he gets a new job. He's extremely responsive when other people say things like drinks, group dates, and promotions. I hate that my daughter suddenly got curvier after she enrolled in middle school. What? Those were the results. This is troubling. <laughs> oh, I'm so loved. I don't think I'll belong to one person for a while. All right, Monokuma. Whatever floats your boat, buddy. I'm starting to feel this strange chill. Well, it's obviously because of the hunger. What time is it now? I sat up much slower than usual and then headed straight to the lounge. Um, 6.30 a.m. It's a miracle I was able to wake up. 
As I recall, it's bad if we don't gather at the Grape Tower at 7 a.m. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess I should go for now. Are you gonna wake everybody else up, or are you just going on your own, Cap the Rooney? Jesus. I don't expect much from Monokuma, but I guess for now I should go to the Grape Tower. Yeah, you're not gonna wake anybody up. We're just gonna leave everybody. You're a bad friend. Oh, Connie's right. They're already down here? Why are you guys already down here? Chiaki! At least you're okay. Uh, good morning, Chiaki. Are you going to the Grape Tower? Uh, she walked by me without even replying. Hey, Chiaki! Uh, I was sleeping. You were sleeping? Isn't it dangerous to sleepwalk? Don't fall asleep when I'm asking that. Morning. I'll be fine, I think. You don't look fine at all. Wanna go to the Grape Tower together? Mm. Ooh. I feel fine, I think. Is she really okay? Uh, so, what we've learned is nobody wants to chat. They're all really focused on getting here. And I'll leave Akane to her own devices since, you know, we all gotta show up here anyway. <sighs> Alright. Everyone who gathered here had pale faces. Ah, man, I'm tired. I'm seriously so tired. Stop complaining, you're bringing me down. I mean... But I'm exhausted. Huh. But I'm exhausted. Not only can we, uh, not only can we not eat food, but we're being forced to come here early in the morning. This isn't just about you. We're all getting screwed here. Huh? But we're getting screwed the most. Obviously, we're more tired than everyone else. I mean, we had to take care of the contact elevator to get here. Oh, we had to take the contact elevator to get here from the strawberry house. So we had to walk all the way from the strawberry hall to the elevator, and then walk all the way over here. Oh, so you're complaining about distance traveled. Huh. Sounds like somebody likes to complain. The longer you walk, the more calories you burn, so... Obviously, we're more tired than you guys. Enough! Stop whining! Hey. T you're fine. You don't have to worry about getting hungry since you're a robot. <laughs> oh, he left his... <laughs> that's, that's actually pretty funny. I'm in a similar situation. I left my charger inside my cottage. What's this? Man, you guys already started to brag about how unhealthy you are. Damn it. Ugh. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> you got a lot of noise coming here. Um. Now that we're all gathered here so early in the morning, what do you intend to make us do this time? No, no! I just want everyone to be healthy again! Healthy? Hey! Hey! You're losing your drive because you're burning rubber down the unhealthy highway, right? <laughs> I'm offering this service so that you can all feel healthy again! So! Yahoo! <laughs> so from this day forward, I'd like you to make Monokuma Tai Chi! Part of your daily routine every day. So your plan is to make us meditate or do more exercise every morning. Thanks, Monokuma. Thanks. Monokuma Tai Chi. All right, start the music. <sighs> <laughs> Nobody here is ready for that type of energy. Make optimal use of Earth's gravity. 
and release yourself from the tension of your conscious self. Why? Why would I? <sighs> this is like the worst time to do this, okay, Monokuma? So fuck off, maybe? Three, two. Why do you know the phrases? Control your breathing slowly and softly. Move as if you're drawing a circle. Ha! Two! Yeah! Naturally, just as you are. Relax your body and mind. This is clearly affecting my hunger. Why exactly do we have to do this? Hey over there! Don't dawdle! He's obviously doing this to push us over the edge, but... We sure worked up a good sweat. Staying healthy is super important. Oh, fuck off. <sighs> we did a bunch of pointless exercises thanks to you. And now we're hungrier than ever. I'm hungry. I can't move. You guys. The road to good health is not an easy one. It might be painful, but we'll do this again tomorrow. Unless something big happens, I won't allow any tardies or absences. Make sure you remember that. That is... You intend to keep making us do this? Damn it. Guys, I don't think I'm gonna last till tomorrow. Damn it. Uh, enough already. How much longer is this going to last? This is true. Didn't he say until the killing starts? This too it... must be the will of causality. Oh. Uh. It seems that the plausibility of those words is finally starting to affect us. If this persists any longer, it wouldn't be a surprise if something really did happen. Damn it! I don't want to die in a place like this. If I'm going to die in a place like this, I might as well. What are you saying, man? Calm down! Slap slap. Shut up! I Shut up! can't fucking calm down. Damn it! There's no food! There's no way to escape. If this goes on, everyone's gonna starve to death. Hey! Wait, are you telling us to just wait until we starve to death? I'd rather have that happen to us than have our friends kill each other. Huh? Do you mean that you'd rather die? Huh? I got it. You're just saying that because you're the traitor. What? You're planning to make us all weak so we c you could kill us all. What? Well, one, why would you think that's an answer? Because if I made you all do this intentionally so I could kill you all, then wouldn't why would I be suffering? Wouldn't I be healthy or... Wouldn't this all be a test to see what you do, not me survive to kill you all? Or I would be doing that since the beginning. Why even have you guys here? You know, it makes no sense. What are you saying? Hey! Fess up. You've secretly been getting food from your future foundation buddies, haven't you? I swear, you better... Stop! Chiaki. So... Making a scene is just going to make us hungrier, so let's calm down for now. <laughs> You're right. Even if you guys fight, our situation isn't going to change. It appears you cannot escape. Wait to die impending s oh, from impending starvation? Or wait for someone to kill someone else before that happens? At any rate, it's a rather difficult situation. I... Which is the true hope. I'll just follow what everyone else decides. <laughs> if you're gonna choose, you should hurry. The longer you keep waiting, the closer we get to death. Well, shit's about to get real. The conversation ended there. It seems like nobody had the energy to keep talking or arguing. So, we, sil we silently left the Grape Tower. I guess it's free time. Uh, I'm just standing, but I feel dizzy. My sense of balance is off, and it's like I'm in a rocking boat or something. That doesn't mean I should just stay put. If I just leave this matter alone, something bad might happen. It's not like I'm worried, but I should go see how everyone's doing. I guess.
guess so. I don't know where to start, though. Oh, hey, Nekumaru, man. Uh, yeah, Sonia's one away from being complete, so I could probably just talk to her once and be golden. Um... Uh, I might as well do that then, because if that's the case, if she's that close and only took that short of time, it would behoove me to do it. Oh, uh, well, she might not actually allow me to talk to her if she's in her room. She may be passed out. Uh, okay, though, you're, you're just fine. Uh, so much shit going on in these rooms. All right, Sonia, what's up? I'm terribly sorry. I need to think of something. Would it be alright if you left me alone? If we manage to get out of here, please invite me again. Uh, she politely declined. Uh, okay, I guess. Uh, I guess nobody really wants to chat. Um, what about Chiaki? Would she want to chat? What about you? Nope. Alright, so, Nekamaru, man, you're the, the guy to talk to today, I guess. It's Mekamaru and me, just on our own, fighting crime. Huh? Ajime, don't worry about Kazuchi said. I don't think you're the traitor at all. What should I do? Should I invite him to hang out? Yeah. Understood. Yeah, I don't mind. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Let's try looking for a way to escape. I spent t uh, time today exploring the funhouse with Nekumaru again. Looks like Nekumaru and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give him a present? Yeah, sure. What do you want to give him? Uh, since he's a robot now. Uh. They're brightly colored jeans. Frey jeans of a detective who roared at the sun in the name of justice. Uh, they're not jeans. They're jean pants. <laughs> I guess he would accept anything. It's something you've chosen for me. Why would you think I wouldn't accept? I'll take good care of it and treat it like you. Mm. is staring at me and groaning. I don't know how to say it, but the way he's looking at me is making me extremely uncomfortable. Um, what? <gasps> Hajime, lend me your body. Whoa, whoa, wait, what? Nikomaru felt me all over until he, I quickly broke free. What the heck? What's going on? <laughs> Just as I thought, I wasn't wrong. You will become an amazing athlete if you train yourself. Huh? You must have been born with a good bone structure. We need to change your diet and bulk up your muscle mass. Wait, hold on. What are you talking about? You're calling me an athlete, but what are you what are you talking about? Sheesh. Talking about you, obviously. Uh I'm a manager, you know. It's my job to help athletes figure out what they want to become. I don't mind which athlete you want to become, but it's wrong for me to decide that. That's for you. Whether or not he decides, he's treating me like an athlete for some reason, but it doesn't matter at all. <laughs> Let's see. For example, how about that? Using your entire body to fight over a ball. A sport that is truly the manliest of man's sports. I don't really want to think about it, though. Nekumar's probably going talking about rugby. Easy. Like, I know that one. Is it rugby? Uh, you got it right! Bullseye! Huh? Rugby was originally a religious service to the Shinto religion. The men would fight over a bundle of rice plant ears in hopes of a rich harvest. It's a holy sport said to have originated when the first bead of sweat fell onto the rice seed. By Spike Books. No way, I don't know anything about rugby, and I've never seen a match in the first place. Fool! <laughs> That doesn't matter at all. Oh. Your calm judgment skills, your high degree of mobility, and you obviously know the importance of teamwork. You may very well be a natural on the rugby field. 
aren't you overestimating me a bit? <sighs> <laughs> My eyes were never deceived, even if you might be. <laughs> if you're ever interested, let me know. I'll take care of you anytime. Nekumaru walked away from a big smile on his face. Even if he compliments me, I don't think I'll be any good at rugby. Or do I really have to have or do I really have that kind of natural ability? My heart is swayed. Is this the work of the ultimate team manager scouting skills? Alright, got a little closer, I guess. I should return to my cottage for now. Alright, we're uh, back. There should still be time for me to move around freely, but what should I do? Well, in my expertise, I would like to check with people's uh, ants, you know. Uh, so she's still in her room, so she's off limits. She's Chiaki's outside. Well, Tarn Flabbit, I can finally chat with her. I haven't talked to her in a bit, and I'm wondering what's going on in her head, you know? She's obviously been thinking about stuff for a while. Uh, alright, I guess not. Uh, seems like the pe she's thinking about something. I think she's figured out how this works. Or maybe she has ideas on it. But, okay, you're just thinking about food. <laughs> Let's invite her out. Food, 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 food. Uh, okay. I spent time today trying to cheer Akane up. Looks like Akane and I grew a little closer. Would you like to give her a present? Uh, yeah, sure. What'd you like to give her? Uh, I think I have food. I have... Yeah, how about this? <laughs> oh, this one. This one. I gotta have this one. As long as I got one of these, I'll be good to go for ten days. Hmm. Hey, you. You're, like, really small. Um, Harvey? It's Hajime. <laughs> oh, right, that's it. I was close, though. Anyway, ha are you even eating? I don't really have much of an appetite, but I am eating regularly. Uh. I see. Then it's okay. Whenever I see small things that I don't like, they're eating too much. I can't help feeling worried. Oh, they don't look like they're eating much. I can't help feeling worried. You can't survive if you don't eat when you can, you know. Well, it's true that eating is necessary, but aren't you going a little bit overboard? Wait. Of course not. That's not normal back home. Hey, Akane, I've been wondering for this a while. Uh, I've been wondering about this for a while, but about your home? What? It's not that big of a deal. The only major difference is that I have about seven little brothers and sisters, and my parents don't work. The only thing? What the heck? So annoying. You know how every time you get a new mom or dad, you just get new siblings too? Well, that's how. That's why I don't really know exactly how many siblings I have. That's really messed up. Then you took on a part-time job to help support your family? <laughs> yep, I gotta feed them little ones, you know. Yo. When I had my waitressing gig, I'd sometimes steal, I mean borrow, the leftovers to bring home. I got paid an hourly wage and I also got tips too. Which was pretty sweet. <laughs> oh, and I got to keep my panties on too. I did not let customers motorboat me after either. Of course. Huh? Why, why are you so mad? I mean, you're a girl. Don't talk about keeping your panties on so casually. Oh, I see. Um, sorry? No, uh, I'm sorry, too. I shouldn't have asked such personal questions. Ugh, this is so awkward. Yo. I remember now. I've been yelled at like this before. Back when I was waiting tables, there was this weird old dude who used to come all the time. He was a gymnast coach, or gymnastics coach. I wasn't really into sports, especially not gymnastics. <laughs> but no matter how much I punched and kicked him, he was pretty persistent. In fact, he looked like he was enjoying it. He kept telling me I had such an amazing body. He was seriously a gross old dude. <laughs> but thanks to him, I was able to move out of my out with my siblings and find a new home for us. I see. I think that's good though. Yeah. I think I'm gradually starting to understand Akane a little better. 
Yeah, we got through that. After standing around awkwardly for a bit, I left the area. It's no use. I think I've reached my limit. I'm hungry. I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm hungry, I'm a hungry hippo. If this keeps going, if this keeps going until I die. What am I thinking? No, if I stay locked up in this place any longer, I'm seriously gonna go crazy. Exit. I need to find the exit. Where is it? Where is the exit? Damn it, where the fuck is the exit? Uh, the final dead room is a challenge given to you by Headmaster Monokuma. Only those with uh, who win the life-threatening game that occurs in this room will be able to reach the octagon, the fabled holy land where the ultimate weapon sleeps. Now then, if you're feeling heroic and you're willing to risk your life to continue living, you should challenge the final dead room. Oh, that's it. There's still that place. Nobody has gone inside there yet. That life-threatening game is just another one of Monokuma's lies. It's possible that the exit is on the other side of that door. That's right. That's definitely it. Then I should go. I should go to the final dead room. I barely have any energy left. I can't even run decently. I mean, it's all in, right? Oh. Oh my god. Yeah, like, I feel super sluggish now. You could definitely see it in his reactions. Like, he could barely make it anywhere. Uh. Hey, guys. Uh, don't mind me. I'm going to the other side. All right, uh... Hmm. I mean, let's see what's inside the final dead room. I mean, fuck it. It's not like we got anything else to figure out, right? As I wobbled and tripped over my own feet, I couldn't help placing both hands on the wall to brace myself. If I win the life-threatening game here, I'll be able to go to that octagon place, right? That's, that's where the exit should be. I did it. I finally did it. I finally figured out where the exit is. I can get out with this. I can finally get out. Hold it. You can't do that. Cause it's bad. You shouldn't go in there. You won't find what you're looking for. That's not true, Chiaki. The exit's gonna be here. There is no exit. All that's there is the life-threatening game. Even if you clear it, you only attain the weapon that Monokuma has prepared. Do you want the weapon? What are you planning to do once you obtain it? Do you need it? Oh. You had this intense worried look on your face while you were walking, so I followed you. It looks like I made the right choice. Let's go back, Hajime. Right? Okay? She saved us, I guess. Uh, Chiaki and I went back to the grape house together. The weaker my body gets, the less sense everything seems to make. We're on the verge of starving to death, and there's no way to escape. Is it really okay to just lay here and take it, or...? This morning, I couldn't help feeling angry that I said what I said in front of everyone, but... I don't really think that it's okay if we end up starving to death. I need to do something. I need to do something soon. And then all of a sudden, I began to feel faint and lost consciousness. Did I pass out in the middle of the floor, or in my bed? Uh-oh. What the fuck? Huh? How long was I asleep? I regained my consciousness a little after hearing a faint rumble in the distance. What was that sound just now? Oh god, was it an earthquake? But I didn't feel the ground move. Uh, maybe I'm just confused? As soon as I mumbled that, a feeling of exhaustion that filled me with amb... Am uh, ambivalence? Ambivalence. Toward everything began to overpower my body. Oh, don't tell me I pass out again. And once again, I sank into the depths of unconsciousness. Oh god, something just happened. Emergency! Emergency! <sighs> I have been gaming all night until the wee hours of the morning when I decided to go to the convenience store. 
There! I saw some guy with good looks, fancy clothes, nice shoes, and a shiny expensive car. There's no way a guy like that actually exists. He really lives in a rundown apartment, and all he has is his pride because he doesn't have a stable job or money. But he wants to show off as much that so much that he's forcing himself to do that. From morning till noon, he carries around boxes and furniture for his moving job. And at night, he works at a bar and serves big mugs of beer. But even with that, he still doesn't have enough money, so he sponges off his parents back home. All that fantasy played in my mind in front of the convenience store, I started to feel bad. Shocking. About my shelf. Oh, okay. So you saw like an expensive car and then you referred to yourself. Okay, then. Oh, God, Hajime. Uh, my body won't move. This has never happened to me before. I'm awake, but my body feels so heavy I can't move. It's also really cold. Fiercely cold, as if the core of my body is getting numb. But I need to go to Grape Tower. If I don't go, the Monokuma Tai Chi, everyone will suffer. Somehow I managed to muster what little strength I had and crawled out of bed. What time is it? I thought I felt incredibly weak from hunger. I managed to drag my heavy body to the lounge. Yeah, this is basically like a war of attrition here. Uh, oh, it's already five minutes till 7 a.m. I really don't want to waste my energy participating in the activity. But if I ignore Monokuma's rule, everyone will get in trouble and not just me. And if I don't even have the energy to complain, let's go to Grape Tower. Yep, something definitely happened. I'm not excited about it at all. I feel like somebody died already in the night. Someone couldn't take it anymore and stabbed someone. It happened in our wing, so obviously a girl's down, I guess. Uh, oh, Hajime, good morning. Uh, Sonya, you seem energetic. <laughs> oh, she's she's hallucinating. What's so funny? Amazing! My goodness, Hajime, where did your face become so mon black all of a sudden? Oh, she's not energetic. She's extremely dangerous. Um, um just the corner is fine, so maybe I take a bit out of you? Um, uh, you'd get a stomach ache. Wow. Oh my, there's another adorable shortcake. That's wrong. I'm not a shortcake. I'm Chiaki. Chiaki, you too. Are you able to head over to the Grape Tower? Yep. It's almost time. Come on, if you're not too slow, we'll be late. Or if you're too slow, we'll be late. Yeah, you're right. Okay, let's drag our carcasses down this hallway here. Um, then I'll press the button. When I press the button, the door in front of me instantly opened. It was very sudden. That's right. It's always sudden. The door to despair always opens suddenly. Oh. What? Wait. Wait. So we killed so whoever did this killed the robot because it was less human than the rest of us? Is he actually dead? I mean, the problem is looking at the situation, you'd automatically think uh Kazuchi did this shit. Holy crap, this developed fast. This is like a drastic change here. I mean, we're already at the crime scene. Uh, on the other side of that door, I saw the remains of our friend. Poor Mekamaru. He just came back, too. Like, that's the sad part. He just came back. He's dead. He just came back to us. And we're all fucking hallucinating. So that makes this this crime even harder to deal with. Actually, this is the same thing I thought would have happened during the last motive when everyone was getting sick. And that somehow we're someone's just going to hallucinate a shit ton and just fucking kill somebody. You know, and we were all going to be sick. We are all going to be hallucinating. So we didn't know which was true and which was false. But I mean, okay, I guess. Ugh. Oh wow, even his A body has been discovered. Now then, 
after a certain amount of time has passed, the class trial will begin. I'm gonna I'm gonna level with you guys here, but this chapter kind of flew by in comparison to the other ones. <laughs> Uh, drastically so? Oh my god, they took the whole thing down with them. Someone completed the game. They also locked the door on that side. What? They intentionally did it so nobody would go through the strawberry room and, and, and unlock it to see what was inside. They did it intentionally so only the grape side would see it. But why? A violent shiver coursed through my body. My head began to pound faster and faster, and I could feel the blood in my head pulsating intensely. My teeth were chattering with horror. What the hell is this? When I was finally able to speak, my voice sounded so small I could barely hear it myself. Why is this... Why is this happening? It's so... strange. He finally... He finally came back to us. If this is a nightmare, please, just let me wake up. I couldn't think of any other way to describe it. So that loud crash that occurred was actually down here, and it's the pillar falling down. Well, damn. Nekumaru? No, this is a lie, right? This is just Based on our situation and the body discovery announcement, it's unfortunate, but there's no doubt that another killing has happened. Killing? I can't deny this truth, but why? As usual, that was the only word I could squeeze out. Hey! What happened? Akane! Move. Move! Move it. Akane pushed me aside and ran straight to Nekumaru. Why? Oh man. Alright, no, 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 no. We're, uh, this, is, this is a lot. Um, I'm calling this episode here. This is a lot of developments. Oh god. Okay. Um and I'm definitely not feeling well enough to, to <laughs> accurately do this for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. Um I'm going to try to get better in the meantime so that you guys aren't hearing me just be sick for the next couple recordings. Uh but I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed this. Um Keep an eye out soon on the horizon. I'm probably going to start the new 999, but that's going to be after I debate whether or not doing finishing the end is nigh is a little bit more important. Uh, but anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And uh, as always, it's, your, it's, it's a sick tofu uh, signing out. <laughs>